Okay, so after you drag transient thermal into the project space, since you're doing uh, an axisymmetric model, you have to set the geometry, the analysis type to be 2D, and you have to do it right at the start. Um, you can't do it halfway through. So you have to right-click on geometry, properties, and set analysis type to 2D, and axisymmetric is 2D because you have only two independent coordinates. Uh, distance, the radial distance from the axis and the axial distance along the axis. And then when you create the geometry, um, you'll go into the sketch. The first thing you need to do is come in here to constraints and make sure that auto constraints is turned on. It, in version 15 it's not turned on by default, so once you turn it on, when you you know draw a line, for instance, you can make sure that the line starts right at the origin of the coordinate system. You'll get a P to indicate that, and so on. And then you can go into the draw toolbox, draw a line from here to here, and from here to here, and then you can create um, arc by center, and you see it tells you uh, click um, for the center of the circle. So you can create the center of the circle and then you can indicate, you know, these these two points. And in terms of dimensions, the only thing you need to dimension is the radius of the, the arc. And once you convert that surface to, uh, the uh, sketch to uh, a surface body, you know, you'll have a part over here and the surface body is the only thing that is transferred to the measure. The other thing to mention is right before you do your sketch uh, for this particular problem, make sure the units are set to millimeter. 